Bart up here to speak to you for a moment. Kevin is a small business owner, has been for 30 years. He is married, he's got three children, two stepchildren, and six grandchildren. He doesn't look old enough to be a granddad. He served on the city council from 1999 to 2001. The Franklin Park, the Franklin Zoning Board Planning Board also served as a state representative from 2010 to 2012. I had the honor of serving with him um, when I was a state rep and he was a senator. He was a two-term state senator in District 12. The co-sponsor of the constitutional carry legislation which was signed by the governor in this state house a few short years ago. When Kevin served up here, and I hope that we get him back up here in the Senate because God knows we need him, he was known as the singing senator. He is a singer, a songwriter, a genuinely nice guy with a, I think he wrote this, with a jaundiced view of the Department of Bureaucracy. So, may I introduce you, Senator Kevin Award. Nice to see a good crowd here. Thank you, Kimberly, and thank you for Women's Defense League. We really appreciate you all. I hope you all bought a raffle ticket. There was a promise made. There was a rumor. Help was on the way. There was a sultan years ago. He thought that if he took down Constantinople, that he would rule the world. His father, his father's father, and his father before that tried to take down this impenetrable wall. Everyone had failed. But this sultan had a secret weapon. He had the biggest cannon. And he was going to focus on one part of that wall. He focused one part of that wall and he hammered it, and he hammered it, and he hammered it, and he would not quit. He sent in the militia that he paid for. He sent in his untrained armies. He sent in more armies. And just when he was about to quit, he got a word of encouragement that he's going to take the battle. In the meantime, the king that was behind that wall, they were rejoicing because nobody, nobody, nobody could enter these walls. They were impenetrable. And by the way, there was a promise. There was a rumor. Help was on the way. That every day that the siege happened, that wall got weaker and weaker and weaker because they focused and they never quit. Ladies and gentlemen, that sultan won the day. He, he penetrated Constantinople, the king and that whole kingdom turned over to the Turks. Why? Because they didn't quit. Why? Why did he win? Because the help never came. We have, in our culture today, social activists. These are the people that believe that even letting a child be born after surviving an abortion to withhold care. That shows a callousness. It shows a cruelty. And these are the people that are throwing the cannonballs at your wall. Your wall is your constitution. Your wall is your unalienable right, rights. Mr. Joe Biden, it's called unalienable rights. And guess what? We started off with a prayer. Where did those inalienable rights come from? They came from God. When the Democratic Party kicked God out of their party, they said to themselves, there's no God to answer to. We will take that place. Your inalienable rights come from us, the state. And that is unacceptable. We have unalienable rights to bear arms, to, to, to free speech, all 27 amendments. 
They are given to us by God, not by the state. Please don't poo-poo that. Because that's your foundation, whether you're a believer or an unbeliever. The state does not guarantee these rights. The promise was made. There was a rumor. You're here to defend your Second Amendment rights. Get involved. Find somebody. Help somebody. Get somebody elected that believes like you do. Don't just say it. Don't just text it. Do it. Get through. Or you're not going to enjoy these rights. Fight now so you don't have to fight later. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go.